freedom of the seas and this is the royal promenade this is where you will find the different shops um, on board as well as different stations that sell different products as well as you are viewing right now this is where they sell like some of the alcohol and this is the first day and usually the first day they try to give you a deal so if you see something that you like on the first day boarding try to snag it because those deals don't last until the very last day, they will try to put more items on sale again before you get off the ship. So as we was walking around, we saw a lot of cool deals um, on a variety of things. Even employees coming up asking us uh, if we would like to add on any specialty restaurants at a discounted um Price. So if it is out there, um, long as you try to take advantage before you board or even the first day once you board. So that is a note to take with you. So try to get your stuff, your excursions, your specialty restaurants before you board, like literally weeks or even months um, in advance, and try to get that price locked in. If not, you may get a discount on the day of the first day of boarding. Now, as you can see, the different signs, Star Lounge, Studio B, Theater, it's always different um, directories to, sh to let you know where to go, what direction uh, different places and um, events are in all the time. So you will never really get lost or get confused. Sometimes people do. It's, it, it has happened. But just pay attention to the signs and, 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 and the directories because it is out there to help you, guide you throughout the ship. So as you're viewing, these are the different um, refreshment packages. You got your deluxe, you know, your soda packages. Now, I'm honestly not an alcohol drinker. Like, I may drink, like, one margarita or one martini and be fine. Some people, you know, like to have a drink every time with their meal. There's nothing wrong with that. So if that's you, take advantage of those deals and get the drink package if you're going to you know, take advantage of, you know, the price of it. I believe um, they offer a deal the day of as you board as well. I wasn't paying too much attention to it, but again, get that stuff in advance because they're always sending emails out when the packages go on sale for different excursions, different specialty restaurants, and different drink packages. Just take advantage. Get it when you see it. Now, this is like another, like, kind of like a bar slash little restaurant. And um, I've seen a lot of guests going in and out of that. So, it probably have good food, but unfortunately, we did not try that. Um, but uh, it looks like it had great food because people was going in and out and it was packed at time. So, I will say that. So, as we approaching Sorrento's Pizza, a lot of people rip and rave about this pizza shop on all of Royal Caribbean ships. Now, I have had the pizza and um, I'm very picky with my pizza. However, the pizza is it's okay. I'm not going to say it's so spectacular that it's a must. If you don't, then something's wrong with you. Nope. I will definitely say that if you're in need of a slice of pizza or you just have a taste, it will, it will definitely curb your appetite. It's not like it's nasty, but it's not all of that either. So I will definitely rate it at a six. And they also have different pastas that come with it. I didn't try the pastas, but again, I saw a lot of guests getting it, and it looks delicious. But the pizza overall is pretty good. Like I said, I'll give it a six. They will customize the pizza if you want it a certain way. Um, they always have, you know, your regular pepperoni, cheese, veggie. Those are the main ones they always have 
out no matter what. Now, if you want it customized, you can definitely get it customized. If you want to order room service and you say, hey, can I have a pizza? They will ask you what kind of toppings you want and they will send it up to your room. In the back of some rentals, this is where you can find your drinks, your water, your your juices, your coffees, and your teas. And of course, all of that is included. They also even went a step further and have, you know, an assortment of desserts. And I think that's pretty neat because at least you could, it's like a one-stop shop. You can get your entree, which is your pizza and the different solids, and you can get your dessert, get your drink, and you're good to go. So it's nice to have these options um, on board. It's nice to have, you know, a one, one, you know, stop shop to get your stuff from. So like I said, so rentals, it is open 24 hours. So that's not a problem. You can go there anytime, morning, noon, and night. And yes, pe- people eat pizza early in the morning because sometimes I don't want breakfast and I may just want straight lunch. And I'm not even talking about just being on a cruise, just overall. That's just how I am sometimes. So I'm not shocked when I see people eating a slice of pizza at 7 in the morning. So that was some rentals. And like I said, um, it was it was okay. I give it a 6. Along the promenade, it is a lot of other shops. Um, so stay tuned for part 2 so you can see those other shops as well. Again, I hope this information helped. I really hope that it gave you some insight of what the promenade looked like and what's available and whatnot. And again, if you have any comments, just go ahead, type them in, and I will get back to you. Please like, please comment, and please subscribe. Thank you for joining in to Everything Nina. Have a great day. Bye.